In this video, I'm going to show you some different ways to highlight the highest value in Google Sheets. So there may be times when you are working with data in Google Sheets where you want to make certain values stand out. So maybe you want to have the highest value in a data set highlight a certain color so you can clearly see what it is. Well, that is possible with conditional formatting. And what I'm going to show you in this video is how to highlight the highest value, the lowest value, the top values, and the five lowest values. And the way we do this with conditional formatting is by applying a custom formula to the data. So to do this, I have this example data here where I have the revenue for different days of the week and I'm going to highlight certain values in this data with conditional formatting to make certain things stand out. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the data range that I want to highlight and then I'm going to go format and then conditional formatting here. So when the conditional formatting rules tab opens on the right hand side you want to make sure it's set to single color scale and then you come down to this format rules section. So we want to format cells if and then we will do custom formula is and this is where we will do our custom formulas. So to highlight the highest value in this range this is my formula. So it's equals B2 equals max and then my data range and now maybe I want to change the color that this highlights to be um, let's do this yellow color and then when I select done you can see that the highlight is on this highest value here and it's highlighting yellow so that is this formula for highest value now we can do the same thing I'm just going to edit this. So the process for doing lowest values is the same, but instead of max, the formula is min. So if I change this to minimum, you can see now it is changed from the highest to the lowest value. Now you can also do the top values, whether you want to do top five, top three, top 10, however large your data set is. And it's all done again through this custom formula is is area um, you just need to have the correct custom formula so this is going to be the formula to highlight X number of top values and here it's set to five so you can see now the top five values within this range are highlighted if you want to change it to top three you would just change the number there to three or you can do top two, top six, whatever you want. This is the formula for top. Now if you want to do, do lowest, it's a very similar formula. This will be the formula you're going to use. And this is highlighting the five lowest values now. And again, if you want to change the number, it's just this last argument here. You can change it to a three don't know why that is not working let me just fix this really quick yeah so if you want to change it to three you would do so here two etc so that is highlighting the X number of lowest values so again you have a ton of options for which values in your range get highlighted and it is all done through this custom formula is setting and you put the formula here of what you want to highlight. So these are the four formulas that I've went over in this video. Highest value, lowest value, top five, highest values, top or not top five, but five lowest values. So if you want to try these formulas out in your own spreadsheet, you can pause this video and uh, take the formula and type it into your own spreadsheet. Or you can also click the link that I will place in the description of this video, which will lead you to my website where you can also copy the formula. 
Um, so that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to show this because it is a useful thing to know. If you have any questions, just let me know. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.